Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you my uh, render settings for YouTube. Um, yeah, let me just drag a clip in. Yeah, this is, yeah. Please don't say it's set up. Because it's not. It was actually a public match. And there I got a 105 kill streak in the Search and Destroy game. So, yeah. <coughs> Pretty nice clip. I will use that in my next montage. So yeah, um, so basically the first thing you should always do is go to properties, this every sampling. And then when you're doing a commentary or something, or just want to upload a raw clip to enhance the quality, you can uh, add some sharpen. You can leave it like that or drag it up a little. Um, yeah, I think that's okay. And then you can can go to um, color curves and drag this down a bit that and this up a bit just to add some contrast so um, another thing you can do is um, go to event pen crop uh, control click and drag this down so that you can get these black bars because no one asked for a tutorial um, otherwise you could let me just set this to default you could just go to media generators then color gradients add this rectangular transparent black on top of your clip and drag this one, uh, drag the two at the right and drag this to that till it's a sharp edge, like that. And then you can go pan and crop and just zoom in. Or you could make these black bars in uh, Photoshop or something. So uh, for when I upload a video to YouTube, I always um, Render an MP4. Uh, by the way, you can copy down these settings. Just pause the video and copy them. And yeah, then you can go and start on your project with these settings. It adds, cl click apply, and then OK. And then for YouTube, you go to um, File, Render As. Uh, when I work between the programs like After Effects and Sony Vegas, I always use Video for Windows, AVI. Then go to Custom, Uncompress. That's b the best quality you can get, but the file is way too large for YouTube. So for YouTube, I use MP4 for the final render. Go to custom. Um, I always use the frame rate 29.97 for YouTube because on YouTube you don't see the difference between th 60 and 30 frames per second. But the most important thing is that you change the variable bitrate to constant bitrate and then just type in uh, 14 and then six zeros and yeah then on audio you can copy this down it's not that important and another important thing is on video render quality you change this to best I click OK and hit save so that's the render settings I use for um, yeah for YouTube and someone else asked me for a tutorial on um, on the blur at the top thing because that's for nicer quality too so let me just go to a nice spot here so and then you add a new um, adjustment layer control alt y, uh, alt y and type in Gaussian blur just drag that onto ad the adjustment layer change this to uh, f nah, 2 or 3 then go to this thing here, rectangle tool, click on that, click on ellipse, and just double click on that and go to the go to this and click inverted. Then open this and drag up the feather. So to maybe one hundred. So then you have the blur at the edges, or if you want it on the top, then just uh, drag this up and you um, and unche uh, uncheck the inverted thing. So then you, you have just the blur at the top, if you see that here. Okay, um, that's basically it. Please like the video, watch my other tutorials. Um, yeah, bye.